Welcome folks, Technivers here. This is Kira. Now Kira is a 3D object slicing application. It's used in conjunction with your 3D printer to make almost anything. But how does it work? Stick around and find out. We'll go over each setting one by one, each in five minutes or less. And be sure to bookmark this playlist and hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to share. It helps us out a ton. And now without further ado, today on Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less 2021 Edition. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. All right, and we have moved on. We are now talking about the shell settings in Kieran. The first one we're going to talk about is wall thickness. Now, this is a pretty simple but pretty important parameter. As you can see from my picture here, I have a pre-sliced model. We've scrolled down to a layer 8 we're looking at here which is the first layer where it will start to do infill. And the reason I've done this is to show you the different colors that are denoted here in Kira. You can see this orange line, that is my infill. Now whatever pattern that is, if my walls are too thin, you can see either squares, stars, or jagged shapes showing through from the outside of the model. The outside of the model is what's called your shell. That's your outer piece that is what, what it's composed of the walls the floor and the roof. So we're going to talk about wall thickness right now. And in this diagram, the wall thickness is set to 1.2 millimeters. So I have a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. My line thickness is 0.4 millimeters. So if I want to print 1.2 millimeter thick walls, I'm going to need three lines. So it automatically does this calculation. This is the wall line count. You will see that in the diagram here, there are three lines around the outside of each perimeter. The outer line is red. That denotes our outermost surface. And the next two lines in the wall setting are green. So as I scroll through this here, you can see the walls move up, but they always remain with three layers, except for in some cases where the geometry doesn't permit. And in those cases, it will do as many as possible without altering the size and shape of the things within. So in this case, where these two pieces meet of support here, or uh, infill, excuse me, where they meet, you might see an impression on the outside of the wall if you only have one or two layers of wall there. Three generally does away with this problem. Four is really nice. You can increase this property to say five or six in a lot of models if they have the right geometry and you can remove infill altogether. We'll go over that in another video, but basically what you need to know is the more walls you have, the longer it's gonna to take to print, yes. The more plastic you're gonna use, yes. But the finer the outside detail of your model is going to be. When we're going for a quality shell, the walls are the major factor because most of your model is usually in height and not necessarily the finish of the roof or the floor, which we'll talk about in another video. So I set this between three and four in most cases. If I'm going to do a model without infill, like I said, we'll set it to five or six. Well guys, that about wraps it up. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and smash that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell so you can get notified about future videos. And on a side note, make sure you check out our new webpage. The website is technivore.club. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-V-O-R-E dot C-L-U-B. And on that site, you can find all sorts of stuff relating to the channel here, as well as some awesome affiliate links for you to purchase printers and printer supplies, which helps the channel grow quite a bit. So definitely check that out. We appreciate you stopping by.